Okay, here we go. Here is our Singer 47 W70. It's a repair machine. It's called a darning machine. And this one's uh, the painted black version, which means it's probably from around the 40s. Really cool machine. You know, you've got a lot of these little name plates on here, the 47W70, which is a really cool tool. So, I'm gonna show you real quickly how to use this thing. Okay, so basically, what I like to do, we'll pick this hole, for example. So we got a hole in the jean, and uh, you know, it's not too big, but this is a good, this is a good piece to start with. So I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of fabric, and I'm gonna go ahead and line this behind the material right here. So it's kind of matching, interesting. Like I definitely think it makes for a more interesting repair to have a uh, a good choice of the liner fabric that you put behind it. So then I place this machine or this uh, pant through the machine keeping that patch piece under there. And what I'm gonna do, and this is probably the most important thing, is to make sure that you are closing the hole in a way that brings it back to its original place. Sometimes when you start darning, you know, you might end up with a really weird, uh, you know, contorted uh, pant right there based on how it's stretched out. So if you can pull it back to its original shape, that's the best. And what I do, uh, super important to match the, the thread color as closely as possible to the pant um, so that when you lay these threads down here, it looks like you're bringing it back to its original color as much as possible. So as I was saying, what I do is I like to grab the, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here. I like to follow the path Follow the path of the, like the grain of the, the fabric, basically. So I'll lay down an original line. I just go back and forth, covering up the hole. Back and forth. With the white threads, I try to lay them right back down in the middle. And then you just work your way back and forth. The slower you go, both on the pedal and rocking back and forth, the, the more accurate you're gonna be covering up the hole. You're basically trying to cover up the white threads. Okay, now when I'm doing a repair, you'll see kind of over here too, this is probably the next area to go on this pant. So while I've got it, I usually like to cross over a bit. Just to add some strength right there. And I'm just rocking back and forth um, on this side. Now, one thing that you'll notice though is that, you know, these threads are kind of looking a little too visible because the grain of the thread is actually moving this way, not this way. So I think it's very important that you turn the fabric and go find that original grain and just go cover it up. Yeah. 
sticking with the original grain is always going to lead to a better repair. And, uh, you know, I think, I think that's the best way to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here and show you what we did. I cut the threads. Okay. So, yeah, you had a hole. Uh, let's see, hold on, let me move back here a bit. Yep, you had a hole, and now you do not have a hole. And obviously, like I said, the goal is to get that thread color to a place where it's matching as best as possible. And then you just wanna lay as many rows of, of stitches down to get it to the point where that hole you know, what once was a hole is, is basically no longer visible. So I could take this and spend another 20 minutes on this repair, just laying down stitches. Uh, but for me, I think this is good enough. So I'm usually gonna stop here and, uh, and that's a repaired pair of jeans.